state of florida nice and sunny today um if you're here um remember to please share like and definitely hit that subscribe button down below um hit the bell icon for future uploads and go back and check out my previous vids so i kind of started last week a uh a segment that i did call um quarantine cooking for you know the car guys or for anybody in general who want to learn to make some uh, Jamaican food while you have the time you know to do so so last week I did um, curd chicken and rice and peas so for today's uh, learning on how to cook Jamaican um, for the quarantine people um, today's gonna be Jamaican roast fish I got some snapper from the seafood market here got it fresh that day um, I'll show you how to make sure your seafood is fresh or your fish is fresh if you get fresh fish from the seafood market. I'm not sure if you guys um, get snapper where you are, but you can use any type of whole fish that you that you like. Um, traditionally in Jamaica, we use a uh, snapper or a doctor fish or any type of fish from the ocean per se, but um, the main staple is usually snapper. There go my little uh, lemon tree What's going on. I don't know if it's lemon or kumquats or whatever it is, but whatever they are, they are sour. But I have a little buddy who comes over and eats them off the ground, so I, I let him leave him some on the ground. So that's the tree, and those are the ones on the ground. There's a little turtle that comes every morning and eats them. Um, and they just eat them out, and then he leave the skin, so I usually pick those up, so I just leave those out for him. Uh, I think the kids named him Harold, and he come and eat lemons every morning so this is what I got going with the grill right here so I, this I always use a starter I never use charcoal uh, lighter fluid um, on my charcoal so I use a electric starter I plug it in and then I already got one side going so I got one side going I'm gonna put the charcoal on the other side put the fish in the middle and let it cook that way so if anything gets too hot I could move it to the middle even though they'll be um, aluminum foil but yeah, so now on to the fish. All right, so here's a snapper. I already cleaned it up. Um, cut the fin down, trim the other pieces off. And usually, how you can tell your fish is fresh is by the eyes. The eyes usually is uh, it's pretty clear. It doesn't have any, uh, like it doesn't look hazy or anything like that. So what I usually do, which you don't have to do, but I usually do with all my fish anyway, I just use it, but just a little slice like that. On both sides. And before I put it over there, I always just make sure I have it dry. So all of the fish is cut up. Now that I have the fish um, sliced up, now I'm just gonna season it up. What I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use some regular black pepper. Um, I got a different container. If you watched the video last week, you know why I got a different black pepper container. I got some salt. And then all I have, then I have this easy spice fish seasoning. It's delicious, um, especially with seasoning up the fish. So I'm gonna rub the rub the outside down and the inside of the fish with these um, seasoning right here. So this just adds a little, you know, another flavor profile to the fish that you're gonna get, additionally to what you're gonna get um, from the 
from the uh, vegetables. But what you guys probably didn't know that I love fishing. I always went fishing all the time. Um, I used to go and fish for my kayak, go out there in the ocean, catch some mackerels, I caught a whole bunch of fish, snappers. But I really love, you know, going fishing. It's to me, it's like therapeutic, and it's fun when you're catching fish. That's why it's called fish, fishing and not catching, because you don't catch fish all the time. When you ain't catching fish, it's pretty boring. But on the kayak, it's pretty fun, um, especially if you catch a big fish in the yard. Um, Pulling you around, you gotta stay on your toes. Unlike the time <laughs> my cousin came up from Tampa and he had his kayak out here, and I was telling him, hey, there's big sharks close by, but he's like, no, nah, I'm gonna put this little chum bag on my kayak and I'm gonna troll around and I'm gonna get some, uh, get some fish, you know, because they're gonna be following. I was like, hey man, ah, stuck me. I was like, man, you're not on a boat. Don't do it. He did it anyway. I was over fishing. Next thing I heard, ah! I was like, what's going on? He's like, oh, there's a shark, a big hammerhead shark the size of the kayak. I was like, what do you think he is? He's like, oh man, it was a chum bucket. <laughs> and when that chum bucket, I was like, hey man, you'd have been a goner. You'd have been on your own. Somebody have to live to tell the story. Especially since I told you not to do it. So, there they go, they're all seasoned up. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put these to the side and what I'm gonna do next is cut up all the vegetables that we're gonna stuff and wrap up in the fish. What I did was I went ahead and, I went ahead and already prepped all my, um, my fresh ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting up the fresh ingredients. You know, like some of the, the green onions. And then, you know, once you stuff this and wrap the fish, it's gonna, all these are gonna cook down and give it such great flavor. Flavor profile is gonna be pretty, um, pretty good. With this, you could just eat it by itself. You could eat it with some Excelsior water crackers or in Jamaica we call them tough crackers. But what I'm gonna make these with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some plain, white rice, put them over some plain white rice. So I'm just gonna start right now with the green onions, or scallions, as some people call it. So just go ahead and chop them on that. Again, being careful as usual. So not cut off your finger. Even the green onions, you could um, you could feel the um, the crying stuff in it. But remember, I told you about Batman. Batman, don't cry. So the green onion, all the flavor, they're gonna be inside and outside the fish. So of course, you know you you cut up enough what you think you're gonna need for your fish. So I got some fresh thyme. Should I cut it up so it could spread out? To cut a little harder and put some of the, you know, cause of the stalks on the thyme is a lot thicker. So green onion. Next, what I'm gonna do is we usually put some um, some okra. Give it a little bit of flavor as well. Put the okra. Growing up, I never, as a kid, I used to hate okra. My parents used to make it all the time, especially with this steamed fish, but they say it's good for you, but when you steam it, it, uh, when you steam it down, it gets a bit, to me, it's a bit it's slimy, it looks slimy. So that always, as a kid, that always uh, was a little bit off-putting to me, was having the, the slimy part. But 
I guess later on in life when I came here, another way is, is frying them because I've never had them fried until I came to America. I didn't even know fried okra or okra was a thing. I've always thought it was, I've only had it steamed. So just go ahead and cut it all down like this. Just smell all this first seasoning already smell you know it's gonna taste excellent of course already clean and wash the always clean and wash your vegetables down this time I'm just trying to um, make the video a little bit shorter so I just did that off to the side kind of like if I was on the food network you know go to the fridge it's already done the only thing is I still have to cook it though I don't have the I don't have any cooked and ready to go like on the food network And again, it's, use as many or as little or none if you want. So it's all different techniques. I'm gonna save that. Next, I'm gonna do the do some um, carrots. So all these are gonna be steamed down with the fish. So you're gonna have a full. That's why I said sometimes you could just eat this by itself and you'll be good to go. That's so how you could do it. Um, different vegetables. Usually another way in Jamaica you use what's called kalaloo. It's almost like a green, a greens type. But um, I don't have any fresh kalaloo. So what you do, I kind of usually just cook the kalaloo down first a little bit. Season it up with some pepper and some onion, cook it, and then you stuff it in the fish. With these fish, they're a little bit smaller, so a lot of this stuff is gonna be on the, you know, on the outside, wrapped up with the, it'll be on the outside, wrapped up with the, um, wrapped up with the fish. gonna steam them all that flavor so if you guys decide to make this you gotta you know let me know what you're gonna make and I say you could use any type of uh, fish you like we we'll just use the traditional snap uh, doctor fish but where I'm at up here, I, I don't think I could get Dr. Fish fresh. That's more in the South, South Florida and the Caribbean. That's like, I'm, I'm fortunate to live in anywhere where I can just go out and get fresh fish. If I don't catch it, I can get it fresh here. Cause I live right next to Destin, next to the over. And Destin is known to be the luckiest fishes luckiest fishing village in the world. Usually go out on some charters, but I think the charters are kind of, the bigger charters are closed because of the amount of people that they could have. But soon the world will be opened back up. And you can get all the fresh fish and everything you want. Go on all the fishing charters. Make sure, if you didn't want to go on a charter before, make sure you go this year because you never know. All right, almost got this. I'm cutting board walking all over the place. Almost done um, cutting this up. Oh yeah, not ugly. 
Jeez. All right, next up is the gonna be the onion. Is a break between the green onion and now the uh, oh, cut up some garlic. not professional well professional chef school but last but not least I got the scotch bonnet pepper so this is what I put very last because the spice I already cut the, some of the seeds out and the stem and then I cut it last because I don't want it to just make the other um, foods all spicy uh, vegetables so I cut it like this and then, because with this, I'm just gonna go one. I don't want it to be too spicy. So with this one, you see some seeds right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oof, you can smell it. I'm gonna cut the seeds out. Because if you don't know, a lot of the heat is in the seeds. And then after this, I'm definitely gonna wash my hands. Because the last thing I wanna do is have this on my hand. Then touch my face, touch my eyeball. I'm gonna be crying for real. Not too much of this. I'm gonna go with just one to just kick it up a notch. Here's everything put together. I'm gonna pour a little, try about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. Put a little bit more, a um, little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna put some more of the easy spice, fish seasoning. You can get this off of a uh, you could order it off of Amazon. So if you can't get it locally to where you are, you can get it off of Amazon. I'm, gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything up. Make sure everything get mixed up pretty good. water wipe everything down as you go along all right so everything is all mixed up now it's time to get the aluminum foil and start putting in the uh putting it deficient so i have my my butter a little spatula and some original butter Spatula, and now I'm gonna get my aluminum foil. So it all depends on the size of your fish, depending on how much aluminum foil you're gonna need. So that should be good for the fish. 
So the first fish, what I'm gonna do before I even put the first fish down, I'm gonna take some of this butter. I'm gonna put it on the, on the drum foil. Kinda to not, you know, when it start cooking up so it doesn't really, this side don't stick to it that much. Take the fish, put them in there. Grab a bunch of the seasoning. And just stuff it inside. So you have it stuffed inside. Take some. Put it on the outside. Try and get as much in there as possible. So I gotta ration it out for the rest of my other five fish. I don't want one to have too much and then the other one don't have enough. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab one of my fresh lemons, wash it off, and cut it up. Take one of the lemon, put on there. And I'm gonna take a, what's this? One fourth cup, but I'm gonna just scoop up Use it to scoop up the butter, get a good amount, just put it on there, put that over there, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the fish like this, push down, so we're gonna wrap it two times, so you're gonna take that, piece like that, Take another piece just because it's open right there, and then we're gonna wrap it again over that way, it keeps all the, the juices and everything in there. So, there's one fish, five more to go. All right, so I'm taking it out to the grill. My grill is about 300 degrees right now. going so I'm gonna just go ahead and place them in there like this I'm gonna go ahead and close it up as I said you don't have to use a charcoal grill I just like using a charcoal grill you could use a gas grill or even the oven so I'm gonna let that cook on there for about I'm gonna give it a few minutes and check on it and then I come back and check on it when it's almost done so you can see it I usually like doing mine for about 30 minutes you could kind of depends on the size of the fish it's gonna kind of and how you know flaky you want it it's gonna depend on the cook time so you could gauge it off of your you know by the pound of your fish and um, and things like that but I'm gonna come back in probably like five minutes and check them and then probably in 30 minutes I like it be cooked all the way through you could kind of hear it bubbling inside and then we go from there Out of it. Put this down 
it's burning my hand. So here it is. The fish, all the juices in there. You could put some tough crackers or something on there, but I'm gonna just eat it just like that. You guys know. like this. I'm out in the backyard drinking a beer. The neighbor dog smell it and wants some. Man. You know sometimes food kind of bring you back to a place when you eat it. But this it kind of bring me back to my childhood in Jamaica. Fly get out of here. Kind of remind you of your my childhood back in Jamaica, as I said. Man. Nice, white, flaky. Subscribe to the channel down below, like, share, comment, 